I started working at the age of 14, driving a bulldozer for a guy down the road for me. Saved up money and bought this. This was my first truck, Ford Ranger XLT. I was absolutely in love with this truck from the get-go. These pictures are from a little bit later on after I put all the accessories on it. Came with the roll bar, did a body lift, did some little mud tires on it. This was my baby. This was my absolute world from the ages of like 16 till about 20. Then I started, I sold it to a guy actually and about two months after he bought it, he crashed it into a telephone pole, crushed me. I was absolutely just so sad that he ruined my truck. This was my truck for a while, four or five years. So I don't know what I was doing here. I was like 17 and bleached my head blonde. I'm, I was kind of a punk, I guess. Literally all I did was mud this thing. And wax it and right here I had to do a uh, ball joint on it had to do a lot of little things on the front end the front end of this thing was really weak and had a lot of issues with wheel bearings and ball joints it was kind of a funky setup twin I-beam I don't know if you guys remember that but it was a 95 it was a lot of fun though I mean this was my you know, my first love for sure. So, right around when I was like maybe 19, I got this, 1920, something like that. A little 300 EX. I used to get made fun of all the time for this thing only being a 300. All my buddies had 400s and bigger stuff. They just made fun of me, but I liked it because I could wheelie it really easy because it was so short. It was a lot of fun. I, that's pretty much all I did for like two summers is just wheelie this thing around the yard. All my spare time went to wheelies, doing little two-wheelers like this. And my dad took pictures of me doing this. He made me wear a helmet. Normally, I just wear sandals, no shirt. Eventually, I ended up selling it after annoying all the neighbors after I put a pipe on it. Then I bought this thing. Actually, I leased it. It was first truck brand new truck I ever rolled off a lot I only had about a year and a half because I ran out of miles but I had just enough miles to drive back and forth to my fire department job that I made seven dollars and fifty cents at that was like 30 minutes away so then I got this this was like my first real truck three-quarter ton I was super happy to finally be in something I could plow with I couldn't find a plow for that 150 so this was a 5.4 gas wish it was if it was a 7.3 i'd probably still have it today but it was just a gas you know the manifolds rotted out it got really loud eventually but it was a really great plow truck for a while i ran it for like five years good long time really good truck it's actually still out on the road today i talked to the guy but here i am just when i first started plowing snow this was like one of my first accounts that pretty much opened all the doors for me for my business uh, I was actually still in school for a paramedic, and I had this car to commute back and forth. It was a little Audi A4, 1.8T all-wheel drive. You know, it was my first turbo charge car, so I had to put a little boost gauge in it, but it would only put out, like, 6 PSI. It was, like, nothing at all, really, but I thought it was so cool watching my little boost gauge. That was, like, the first time I had a turbo car, but... I liked it a lot. It was actually nice. I actually ended up downgrading a few times after this. So I had like a little Civic. I didn't put it in this video, but here's my trailer. I paid 300 bucks for from an Amish guy. And my first mower, it was like 1200 bucks. Put it on a credit card. This whole mower had all bell drive and it used to mow really good. Actually, you can see these stripes. It kept my blades really sharp and this is how I started out, just mowing lawns. I guess you could call this the official start of my business, 2008. So I've been in business about 12 years now. Um, later that year, I went to the truck pulls. I pulled my truck. I wasn't very good. I didn't lay into it hard enough. Should have laid into it a lot more. Only pulled like under like 200 feet. It was it was pretty bad. It's the only time I've ever actually been in a truck pull, but it 
it was exhilarating, everyone watching you and stuff, but yeah, I did pretty bad, but 2009, this is right about when I got my first skid steer, I also bought an old 95 dually, two-wheel drive, power stroke, sometime in around the same time, this was a great truck, actually, it's in Myrtle Beach, at parked at Myrtle Beach right here, I drove it like 13 hours to get there, it was pretty crazy. It sounded really good, and that's, you know, why I bought it, obviously, for that 7.3. That's what got me hooked on Power Strokes and Fords. I mean, naturally, my first truck being a Ford kind of led me to buy more Fords. So, then I got this 250X, and it was basically a 300EX, but it, with a 250 motor kickstart, but the frame and the body was pretty much the same thing. So, it was kind of like jumping back on my old 300 but this thing only costed 800 bucks, and it was kickstart, and it was so quiet. You could ride it any time of day or night, and no one would ever know. That's what made it so cool, and it was just so cheap. I ended up buying this 400EX, and I only had it for like a few months, actually. It was so loud, I couldn't ride this thing anywhere without pissing everyone off. So, I ended up selling it, and I think it needed new piston rings because it was starting to get really smoky and it was just kind of beat up and i didn't really like it that much so i sold it pretty quick i had this jeep for a little while i paid like 900 bucks for it and i used to take it to the mud runs but it did not last very long i think it had a head gasket issue and it overheated like almost instantly when you're in the mud or anything really revving it up at all so I went camping once, pulled it with a dually, you can barely see it, it's in the left hand. But I had an RM125 I picked up, I didn't have this thing very long either. I actually traded it for a car. Then I got the Banshee. Banshee was like the best four-wheeler I ever had. I sold it, I shouldn't have, I regret it now. I bought this thing for $1,200 all stock, nothing done. Original tires and rims, I mean it had the gold rims on it that were like hideous but that's how you knew it was like completely stock so we used to just ride this thing to absolute death here i am going out on the pond the pond's frozen hasn't froze for like five years now but when back years ago before glo global warming this thing used to freeze solid you could drive anything on it so we used to play around on it with the foiler all the time. I wouldn't do that now. I mean, it never even froze hard enough. Here's my one buddy on this Enduro. We used to just tool around in the backyard like after work all the time and just ride for hours and hours. Most of my free time in my 20s pretty much went to riding foilers and dirt bikes and some little bit of boating and things like that but so me and a real good buddy worked together doing landscaping for years at this point i pretty much had totally abandoned my firefighter emt career i'm still actually an emt but i don't use my card at all or anything like that but so here we are just messing around on the banshee and here we are this was the ferris mower so I rarely even talk about mowers. I got a right stander after it. It was so-so. Had a lot of hours on it. And then I got this horrible mechanism called V-Ride. Anyway, got sometime in between all of that, I ended up getting this Dodge. And I didn't have this thing very long either. I actually sold it with a bad transmission. The guy still wanted it. And had a gator for a while we used to do a lot of mulch with this thing and people would definitely abuse the heck out of this thing on driving around the yard i had a lot of people over and we would basically wheel this thing pretty intensely and it would still go to work the next day never really broke down on me never left me stranded and i ended up getting this this was my first dump truck it was an isuzu little while after i got the enclosed trailer too those were both huge game changers having a dump truck was awesome this thing was a four cylinder five speed super underpowered i don't even know why i was towing this bobcat with it it was so slow and scary but it was great at hauling mulch and things like that not dirt not gravel or anything real heavy i mean 
actually spilled a bag of grass seed and grass started growing inside the cab. I thought that was pretty crazy. I had to get a picture of it to show some customers. If you just water, it'll grow. At some point, I got this Lexus IS 250. So this was like a fancy car for me. I didn't end up having this thing very long either. It needed some exhaust work, and it just really wasn't my style. I mean, I liked it for a little while, but I didn't like having a lot of money tied up in a car. So I actually traded it in. Not too long after selling my blue truck, I picked this regular cab up, and this was a great truck. I liked it a lot. It was really comfortable, and the regular cab was awesome for plowing. It just had a 5.4 gas engine. I think it's a three-valve, and it started ticking really bad, and I just got it. I got a good deal when I bought it, so I sold it after a few years. I only had it like three, four years. But then I got my second skid steer, and I ended up repainting this thing. It came out pretty well. And not too long after that, I ended up getting this Cat 252. You see these two in all my current videos, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about them. I ended up trying to set a Prowler tracks. These things were garbage. Don't ever buy them. And then I got my 2012, and this had the 6.7 in it. This was a great truck. I actually drove it to Florida. Some of these pictures, this picture's in Florida in a car wash at, right after I got there getting the bugs off of it. And then I parked here. This is at Clearwater Beach. I got a ticket for parking just a little bit on the line. This truck was amazing. I mean, so much power. It had the exhaust filter, which I actually like because it didn't smell whatsoever. My old 7.3, the dually used to smell terrible. Here's my 2003 F350 7.3. You've seen in a lot of my videos, my dump truck. Also a 7.3 and my excavator. I'm not going to go into detail about these. You see these all the time. My 2017. And here's my new cat skid steer I just bought. Ah, just kidding. Uh, here it is. But that pretty much wraps it up and catches everything up to our current day.